Hey, Joe from Conan Blocks here. We just released our Docker for Developers episode a couple days ago, and I wanted to follow up on something that we talked about on the show, uh, mainly where I was describing some of my frustrations and confusion around how to get a good development workflow set up using Docker and .NET Core. And at the time, I was using Visual Studio Code because I was kind of uh, bouncing between a, a couple different computers and trying to set up watchers to get the compiling to work for me automatically and, and stuff like that which is all well and good, it's just very different from how I'm used to working with .NET type projects. So I want to take a couple minutes to show you an alternative that we didn't mention, which was just you know using Visual Studio if you're working on Windows. So I uh, did a little Googling, found a really short five minute article uh, that talks all about it and gives you a lot of background information and uh, decided to give it a whirl and I uh, thought it was really easy, so I thought I'd make a quick video. So uh, I want to mention I do have Docker running. I do have my drive shared and I do have Visual Studio 2017. So if I come over here, create a new project, uh, ASP.NET Core, what was it, uh, Piper Chat from uh, Silicon Valley. All right, and I wanna make sure to leave this enable Docker support checkbox on, and I'll leave the uh, OS as it is. And when we come over here, we'll see uh, Visual Studio has done a lot of stuff for us. And in the background here, it's actually going ahead and is building our image from the Docker file that they provided for us. And they also provided us with this Docker Compose file that we can use to actually run things. And you'll see up here, they actually changed the name of the uh, debug button to say Docker. And I think part of my kind of confusion or, or maybe why I didn't even really think to, to look into this when I was trying to, to bounce between platforms and get my own thing running is I just didn't know how this sort of thing would really work with debugging and kind of building cross-platform. And uh, I just kind of assumed it wasn't really going to work very well. And uh, now I, I actually read through the article, which I probably should have started with, and I, I hit play. I get my website. If we come back over here, and look at the build log, we can see exactly what happened. So when I hit that play button, um, these are the Docker commands that ran. It checked to see if there's a status, there was a, an image running. It uh, killed .NET core. And then it uh, ran Docker Compose again, which actually spun up my website again and took care of compilation because that's specified in the, uh, the Docker file and Docker Compose uh, build files that uh, Visual Studio set up for me. And uh, voila, I've got a uh, ASP.NET Docker website running in Linux, and I've got the old uh, kind of debug tools that I'm used to. So pretty cool, huh? Uh, let me know what you think. We'll have uh, links in the description below.